Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back, I guess. I really overdid it this time. All right, so here's the deal. Wingstop has 12 different kinds of sandwiches. I ordered them all. We're going to sausage them. Let's see here. We got uh, original, red something or other, saucy Sam, less saucy Sam, barbecue maybe, whatever this is, old orangey, garlic parmesan, similar Sam, fell on the floor, another barbecue maybe, and less fall on the floor. Well, we'll also shove, uh, you know, some buns in there for, for more binder. Teenage Wasteland! This is gonna be a little rough. Ah, uh, we're, we're, we're running out of room! By the way, this also doubles as the vomit bucket for when my kids are sick. This probably doesn't need a regrind, but I feel like it would be a wasted opportunity if we didn't. No, I feel like we ended up with more chicken. My God, this is an offensive amount of chicken. I only have sausage for you. What were we even worried about? Oh, God, there we go. Preburst. All right, uh, here, uh, here we go again. Well, as you can see, this made a ton of sausage. There made 21 sausages. We'll bake these, pan sear these, and freeze these. With special thanks to today's Mark Boxalo box artist, this guy. Oh man, this one's chock full of detail. Listen, this thing doesn't have a chance of blowing. But I'm gonna give it one heck of a will it throw. Man, look at that. That that didn't even budge. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give the will it blow zero Mark Ruffalos. But that will it throw, though. That was worth at least two Mark Ruffalos. Here we go. All right, I think we're done here. All right, first one up is the pan-seared sausage. Let's open it up and see how we did. Looks very, very, uh, not good. Pan-seared, uh, wingstop chicken, what have you. Here we go! The pan-seared one's not really a bad sausage. It, it, it's flavorful. It, it is mushy. I mean, you're going to get that mush factor in there, so that's no good. Uh, I, can, I can't really tell what flavor it is. It, it, it tastes a little bit like barbecue. It tastes a little bit like uh, really spicy chicken. It's, uh, it's a little bit salty, too. There's a, a big salt factor going into this sausage. But the pan-seared version's getting a 3 out of 5. If the baked version does better, then we're going to go with the higher score. Oh, we got a burst. Look at all that grease. And we can see by this bursty boy, it looks, uh, it looks pretty plain Jane in there. Yeah, yeah. Baked Wingstop sausage. Here we go. Major difference between the two sausages. Baking it provides it with a little bit more uh, solidness. Uh, and, 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 and I guess the longer cook makes the, the flavors integrate more because this is one tasty sausage. A little barbecue a little spicy, very good sausage. I would, I would give this a five out of five if it, uh, if it was, if it was just a little bit less mushy. I don't think you got a sausage all 12 of them. I mean, maybe one spicy one and maybe one barbecue one will probably get you the the same way. I'm going to have to give this sausage here a four out of five. Bop, 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 bop.